Welcome to Art Talk number five. I'm here with my friend, Julie Schumer, and we're going to recap what has happened in our art lives this month. So Julie, do you want to start it off? Sure, I'll start. So um, I got into another gallery this month. I'd gotten into one in Santa Fe sort of at the end of March, and that was kind of exciting because it's a new gallery with new ideas, and it's, it's in a great location, so we're kind of hopeful for good things to happen from that. Then I, I was kind of had like a program of galleries I wanted to approach. And I thought I would do them like one by one or like two by two, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I sort of followed our business of art membership protocol for applying to galleries. I had researched this particular gallery. It's in Scottsdale. It looked to be perfect for me. I spent a lot of time and a lot of care putting a catalog together mm -hmm. um, and had, you know, if somebody helped me design it and get it printed and all that. And then I wrote a really nice cover letter, um, which I was able to kind of state my previous experience in Scottsdale with galleries that are closed and that kind of thing. Right. So was, my work wasn't foreign to the area. And mm -hmm. then I had sold there previously and all that. And I mailed it out and the owner contacted me like within a day of receiving it. And the net net of that is that seven paintings were picked up this morning wow. to be delivered <laughs> to the new gallery. And that's it's really super exciting because they have a reach that extends beyond their location. They have the ability to be in showrooms all in the Southwest. So it, it'll be better than even just being in their physical location. But, you know, I just kind of followed what we teach Kat basically. Yeah. And that's, bingo, that's it awesome. worked. <laughs> but, you know, between the first gallery here in Santa Fe, this other gallery, and then James and I being in a show in Lexington where we had to each uh, send like seven or eight little paintings, 41 paintings have left the studio in the last three weeks. Oh my God. All wrapped by yours <laughs> truly and crawled up and down the stairs here and, you know, boxed up with James's assistance. And it's, it was pretty physically debilitating, but yeah. you know, I was happy to have to do it. It was great. Well, really you know, 41 paintings. So I, I hear often from artists like, oh, I've got these stacks of paintings in my studio. What, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. And here you've procured relationships with multiple galleries and then 41 paintings, you know, poof, gone. Gone. And you know, it's a good <laughs> thing that we had them. When yeah. you think about it, because I wouldn't have been able to accept all these opportunities if I didn't have enough inventory. So, you know, all that painting and watching them sit around for a while paid off, you know, and, and when I go upstairs and look in our storage area it doesn't seem like it's that much dented in you know but there are definitely a lot fewer paintings around so i feel lighter you know in here yeah. to me yeah, so, yeah. Literally, literally and figuratively, literally and figuratively. <laughs> but so kat i know you were working on a big commission what's the upshot with that so the commission is finished and um i wanted to talk a little bit about what happened <laughs> with this commission so um, and I'll, and it's been kind of a secret and I cannot show the commission until um, where it's going to be is opened, but I'll tell you at the end of this conversation where it's going to be. So, which is super exciting and meaningful for me, but so, you know, for those who don't know, commissioned artwork is where an artist is paid to do a specific work of art for a person or an institution or a corporation or a medical center. So the artist is commissioned. They are paid to do something very specific. And often the commissioner will choose something the artist has done from the past and say, I want this bigger, or I want it uh, with a little bit red in it, or you know, any number of, of ways that they may procure the commission with you. So I, uh, the commission for me was four paintings. Um, one in particular was, um, 30 inches high by 10 feet across. And wow. these were on birch, uh, Baltic birch wood. That was three inches deep. How much so, did that weigh? <laughs> they were all heavy. I mean, heavy and awkward, you know, 10 feet. That's like a giant beam that holds up a house. Right. It, right. See, it felt like anyway. So, they chose a painting um, fairly recent from the past year that was 18 by like 58. Okay. So, and they had a very specific color palette for these four paintings. Um, I, I can't really go into any more detail than that, but suffice it to say, they gave me the Pantone colors 
and there weren't that many. So it was not a big range of color. And, you know, I'm somebody who loves color and I'm thinking, right. how am I going to make this work? It's hard you for know? you. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and so I did, um, I did, I had another long skinny one that was like 30 by six or seven feet in addition to the 10 foot one. So I did those together and, you know, one had to be based on this one from my past uh, year and the other one had to be like a companion piece to it. So I, I did it to the letter, but taking a painting that's like 18 by 58 and blowing it up to 10 feet wide and 30 inches high, the 30 inches high wasn't a problem, but the 10 feet wide, it was like, I didn't have enough stuff in right. the 58 inches to, to stretch really to make it interesting. And then this palette was super limited. So I, I did it and it actually looked, you know, really close to the original. Um, it was, it was hard. It felt, um, not like I was choking, but it felt uh -huh. really restrictive. And, right. um, I thought, okay, why well, that is what they asked for. Um, and I, I wasn't thrilled with it, but it, it looked really close to the original. And as a rule, you know, I don't do replicas. I mm -hmm. like doing things similar to, but not the same as. And were they really married to that original yes. that they wanted? So yes. you really had to stick close. Yeah, I had to stick close. So I, I pulled it off. I did the companion piece, um, but I just didn't feel good about the paintings because I felt like they didn't have a wow factor. Right. Um, so I sent, I sent the images and I, I was very honest with the firm that I'm working with. And I said, look, um, I've, I think I've nailed it on these. I've done what you've asked, but I'm not feeling all that great about them because I feel like there's no zing. There's no, you know, and I just felt like it was better for me to be honest and transparent right. rather than saying here they are. And I love them. And, you know, cause I wasn't, wasn't feeling that way. So they wrote back um, very quickly and they said, and so I was only using part of this very limited palette. Um, one end uh, leaned towards blues, the other end leaned towards yellow and golds. So okay. I could only use the, the blue end um, and then black and white weren't even in there. I had to get, wow. get permission. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so I mean, I'm talking about they're giving you four to five Pantone colors. Mm -hmm. That's the blue end. And the yellow end was maybe three Pantone colors. Oh man. So, it, you know, so anyway, so I got permission for the, the black and white so I could make tints and shades and at least do something. And so anyway, they wrote back and they said, okay, we want you to just use the entire palette and we want you to do what you feel needs to be done to give it a wow factor. So I got to tell you, I was elated. <laughs> I ran to my studio. I was so excited. And then I- How much did you have to repaint? I mean, like, in other words, did you like basically scrap what you had? No, no, no. So I just okay. added more color in. I was able to then, you know, I got permission to mix yellow and blue and get some different greens, you mm -hmm. know, which they weren't in the palette. Right. So, so, but then I was able to just go bonkers because I, I'm a color person. I love color mixing. So when they said, just mix it all up and, and make it happen, then I was like, okay, score. So I'm telling you in, in the next 30 hours, they were transformed and they had a wow factor. I felt, Fantastic. I felt so Amazing. good. About, yeah. So good about them sent the images and they were like, oh my God, I can't believe he did this so fast. We absolutely love them. So then I had two others to do two uh, five feet by five feet squares, also the three inches deep. So they were really heavy. Yeah. Um, and I had to paint them mostly flat on saw horses because I didn't have a way to hang them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so painting flat that large was really trying. Um, and I was able to kind of at the end, flip them up and then adjust and everything. And so, you know, I found myself faced with the same dilemma. <laughs> so I had a little bit more leeway. They based all of these on, well, these two in particular on my Chrysalis series, which is an abstracted nature series that I did some years ago. And that series had a lot of rhythm 
and a lot of layering and um, very active kind of series. And so I hadn't done that series. Um, and they picked uh, an image from 2016, wow. you know, which was time also, ago. Yeah, really kind of hard to get back to how oh, was I feeling then? So long story short, um, I did them and I said, is there any way that I can add colors, not, <laughs> you know, that in, right. the one, like not the ones you gave me. Can I just throw in uh -huh. a couple more things? Uh -huh. And, you know, it was a matter of trust. So I, I sent them images of where they were and told them what I wanted to add. And they said, we so much love what you did with the first two. We're going to say yes, but like no other artist in this part of the building um, got that permission. So I really- wow. I really felt like I had um, established this, you know, trust. And so I love how they came out um, and they needed those extra few colors. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so those got picked up and delivered last week. They're being installed today or tomorrow. Oh, fantastic. And, yeah. And this was a commission. I got it in like around Christmas, like December 26th. Uh -huh. I was like, uh, you know, signing the agreement and they had to be, you know, they were picked up last Wednesday. So it was kind yeah. of a short time frame short. for yeah. those four large pieces, you know, with everything else I was doing. But, huh? you know, what I want to say about commissions is that if you're, well, first of all, I don't think artists doing replicas is very interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that I like to do or really want to do. You have to, you know, because what happens is like, who was I in 2016? I'm a different person now. So then when I'm painting now, my experience is different. My thoughts are different. My choices are different. So it's really hard to go back so far and pull a rabbit out of the hat. So you have to be able to get permission to input where you are today, right? It's like, not going to work. No, that happened to me with my Tucson airport commission. You know, they wanted something that I had done in 2012 and this was 2021. That was oh, you know, nine years later. Yeah. And that painting was oil paint and I was not working in oils anymore. And it was very challenging to be true to myself, but give them what they had asked for. There right. was a fine balance there. Yeah. I, I it was think not a, a course that was smooth. I can tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, I think you, you know, so I feel terrific about how it all turned out, but there was, you know, I had like the, uh -huh. the night, the dark night of the soul one right. night, you know, kind of going, oh my God, you know. I know. I mean, I had it with this, the, the airport commission too. It was very hard to go back, you know, yeah. and use colors that I wasn't really using anymore. Um, it, it was just, it was a difficult process, but at the end of the day, it, it looked fine and they liked it. And I'm going to go see it this summer. On yeah. my way to Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'll tell you um, who the commission is for. So, um, last year when I had breast cancer, I was treated at the Emory Winship Cancer Center, mm -hmm. and they're um, building a whole new uh, building, like another location, and it's for that building. Wow. So it's it's Fantastic. kind of yeah, kind of like coming full circle. I mean, uh huh. Last year at this time, I was going, you know, getting ready to have a double mastectomy. And if you would have told me, hey, in a year, <laughs> you're going to be doing paintings for this cancer center, I would have never believed it. That's fantastic. What a nice way to have some closure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's it's super exciting. So I'm hoping I'm going to Atlanta um, next month because I have a bunch of doctor appointments um, for that one year anniversary. And I'm hoping that the new building's going to be open. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if it is. It's supposed to open sometime next month, but I don't know if I'll be able to visit them, but right. I'm going to try to visit them sometime this year. Well, oh, that would be great. Yeah. To, right. you know, kind of see how it all fit together. Oh, and the other thing with that commission, I had to paint the image around those three inch edges. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Which was really <laughs> yeah, all the challenges possible: size, weight, palette. Yeah, know, it was it was a it was a tough one. But um, you know, we in our business of art membership, we talk all about how commissions are done. We have contracts, uh, sample contracts. We have you know what needs to be in a commission agreement. So, um, you know, it's something I think you and I are well versed in. I think so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Excellent. <laughs> well, until next month.
we will meet again. All right. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Kat.